Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to learn how to actually install APM using NPM which using Node.js. So what we need to do is actually have our terminal open and to do so just go to search and type terminal and just press enter it will open the terminal for you. And next thing you need to do is write npm and make sure that you have Node.js installed in your computer or this command wouldn't actually work. So write npm install and then write dash g apm and then press enter and it will actually initiate the installation. And I already have apm installed on my computer so it's actually going to just give me some warnings and my process will actually end pretty quickly but in your case it will actually take probably about five minutes to actually install. And it won't really ask you anything, you're just gonna keep installing, so just give it a few minutes until it actually ends. And after you do so, if you wanna check what APM version you have, all you have to do is just write APM-V and give it a few seconds and it will actually give you what version are you using. And my other version that I'm using is 1.6.5. And if you want to launch the APM server, all you have to do is type APM and it will launch it for you. And this install APM without the GUI or the user interface part, which is you can install it through the APM website, which is totally fine. But if you have this, it will be easier to actually launch APM through your code. So if you're using Java, for example, you can just call like um, Node.js command that opens your APM server for you or if you're using Windows you can also do the same thing or just call a CMD command that opens the server for you as well. So in this case it actually launched the server for you on these ports. If you want to change these ports you can actually do something different. So let me actually close this terminal and reopen a brand new one. Let me expand this so you guys can see. And if I write APM and then do space dash A and dash A stands for address. And if you're using a Windows, you can do dash address, the word address, and then write the number of the address that you actually want to use. And I'm going to use 127.0.0.1. And then I'll do dash P. And also if you're on Windows, you can do dash port. And then you can write the port that you want to use. So here I specified that I want to launch APM and I specified what kind of address I want to use and what kind of port I want to use as well. So if I press enter, it will launch the server on the configuration that I actually wanted right there. So that's it for this tutorial. I'll probably make another tutorial of how to install the GUI part or the user interface part that if you want to use it that's totally fine either way it will work but this one if you want to make it easier for you to actually open it through your code that would be the best way to do so so that's it for this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you have any questions have a great day